Welcome to Slocum Center for Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. My name is Dr. Brian Jewett and I specialize in total joint replacements of the hip and knee. In this video, we will be discussing the advancement in total hip replacements. In the last 20 years, there's been a lot of incredible advancements in hip replacement surgery. 30 years ago, hip replacement surgery required the implants to be fixed to the bone with glue, which tended to come loose after about 10 years. Now we have implants that are bound to the bone, where the bone actually grows into the implants that should provide durable fixation for up to 30 years. The benefits of these advancements in hip replacement surgery are that number one, the implant should last longer, but also they give patients uh, a more wide range of activities to do. So the limits that we used to impose on patients as far as how much they can lift and what their activity level should be, we're more comfortable expanding them. In addition, we feel more comfortable operating on younger patients because we know the implants will last longer as well. So 50-year-olds, 60-year-olds with arthritis were not as timid to replace their hips as we would have been 30 years ago when the hips were typically lasting 10 to 15 years. The ideal candidate for hip replacement surgery is somebody who has arthritis of the hip that interferes with their activities of daily living and is also healthy enough to make it through surgery and enjoy the benefit of hip replacement surgery. If you have multiple medical problems, bad back, bad knee, hip replacement surgery might not be of great benefit, but if the hip is the singular greatest problem in your life, then hip replacement surgery can be of great benefit. It's important when preparing for hip replacement surgery to check with your medical doctor to make sure that all of your medical problems are adequately addressed and under control. In addition, you want to get yourself in shape for surgery. The stronger you are, the more flexible you are, and in the better shape you are coming into surgery, the quicker you're going to recover and be able to use your hip sooner. Once you're fully recovered from hip replacement surgery, we expect you to have a leg and a life that is near normal. Playing golf, playing doubles tennis, even downhill skiing are appropriate activities with a hip. You should make some concession though. We don't expect patients to run or play basketball and to avoid high impact activities that could damage the hip long term. But we do expect you to restore a normal active lifestyle and enjoy the good qualities of a hip. Hip replacement surgery takes about one hour, after which you're in the recovery room for a few hours and then we have you in your own private room in the hospital. Two days in the hospital is what it takes to teach, a, teach you to get up and walk and use crutches and learn to go up and down stairs and be independent. Then we typically let patients go home and for the first two weeks at home you're mobile, you're independent, but we do ask that you stay on crutches. After two weeks we start physical therapy, taking you off your crutches, working on your balance, your strength, your mobility, at which point it's okay to start driving and engaging in other activities outside the house. By six weeks we expect you to be fully independent and start to return to such sports as golf and riding your bicycle. But it typically takes three to six months to regain full strength and full mobility in the leg where you can do just about anything that you want. 